Question number six from June 2002, advanced level um, max HSC, HSC P3. Uh, let fx is equal to 4x over 3x plus 1 in brackets times x plus 1 to the square in brackets. And also uh, express uh, for the first part uh, fx in partial fractions and for the second part show that uh, the integral of fx dx uh, with limits from 0 to 1 is equal to 1 minus ln 2. Okay, here is the expression. So we can uh, write it as 4x, okay, over 3x plus 1 times x plus 1 to the square is equal to a over um, 3x plus 1 plus b over x plus 1 to the square plus c over x plus 1. Now, um, we have to simplify this. 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1 goes out. We have a times x plus 1 to the square plus b times this one goes out with the other one. So we have 3x plus 1 plus c times x plus 1, x plus 1 goes out and we're left with 3x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now the first value of x can be minus 1 because it is plus 1 inside. Therefore x is equal to minus 1. 4 times minus 1 is minus 1 is equal to minus 1 times plus 1. Plus 1 is 0. 0 times a is 0. Minus 1 plus b. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times b is minus b. Um, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 times b is minus 2b. Therefore, we get it that b is equal to 2, isn't it? So, if b is equal to Because um, minus 1 times x is, mi I'm sorry about that, minus 4. So minus 4 divided by minus 2 is 2. Now, when x is equal to, we have 3x plus 1 here, it can be minus 1 third as a solution. So minus 1 third times that, 4, 4 is minus 4 over 3 is equal to minus 1 third plus 1 is going to give us uh, two-thirds to the square. So two-thirds to the square times a minus one-third times three is minus one plus one is zero. Here also you're going to get a zero. Therefore we're left with this one. So what is the value of a? a is going to be minus four over three divided by four over nine. Minus four over three divided by four over nine and that's going to give us as uh, minus 3 if you work that out on a calculator. Now we're done with all the values maybe we can say when x is equal to 0 this time so 0 times 4x is 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 is 0 0, 0 plus 1 is 1 1 to the square is 1 so 1 times a is a 0 here 1 so we have plus b 0 here 1, 0 here, 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times c is c. So we have a plus b plus c. And what is a? Minus 3 plus b, b is 2 plus c, and then it's got to 0. All of that is going to give us c as 1. Okay, so now we can express it. Uh, we can say that 4x all divided by 3x plus 1 times x plus 1 to the square is going to be um, what is the value of a the value of a minus 3 so we're going to get minus 3 over 3x plus 1 plus b b is uh, 2 so plus 2 over uh, x plus 1 to the square and c is plus 1 so we're going to plus 1 over x plus 1 here we are for the first part now, for the second part, we need to show that uh, this was the first part, and for the second part, we need to show that uh, the integral here we have limits uh, of fx dx limits from 0 to 1 is equal to 1 minus ln 2. Now, <clears throat> so we're going to integrate fx, and fx is all this, but we just found. So integration of fx dx is the same as integration with limits 1, 0 here, 
minus 3 over 3x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 1 to the square plus 1 over x plus 1 okay so all of that with respect to x if you differentiate this you will remember you can use the form um, you can use the form integration fx over f dash x dx is equal to ln uh, ln x plus k now if you differentiate this one it's going to get minus 3 so that's going to be uh, if you differentiate this you're going to get 3 and this is 3 therefore you have minus and it's going to be minus ln 3x plus 1 all right plus differentiate this you're going to differentiate uh, 2 times x plus 1 to the power of minus 2 so you add 1 and you divide by the new power and then you differentiate this uh, you integrate so integrate this all these integrate this one you're going to ln x plus 1 so we know, just need to simplify things here so we can say ln x plus 1 minus ln 3x um, plus 1 then minus 2 over because if you uh, minus minus becomes plus so you got plus all right um, is not all right so we're gonna get plus 2 over it's all right mm, no this was plus so plus then you divide by the new power minus one so it's going to become minus so this this is minus minus x plus 2 over x plus 1 yeah so here we are now um, this can be simplified further the natural log uh, so when you have minus we divide so x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 1 and then you're going to subtract uh, 2 over x plus 1 now you're going to substitute your limits as 2 sorry 1 and 0 1 and 0 okay so if you have to put 1 here so 1 plus 1 is 2 3 times 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and then we have um, 2 over 4 which is then uh, 2 over 4 is half so L in half minus 2 over 1 plus 1 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 okay so that's the first part then minus ln if you put 0 here you're going to get 1 0 here you're going to get 1 so ln 1 okay minus so ln 1 minus um, minus if you put 0 here now so minus 2 okay so what do we have we have ln half okay minus 1 minus minus 2 so minus 1 minus minus 2 is going to give us plus 1 and uh, this is 0 anyway so here is the answer but you need to check this out in the calculator because it looks like it is an equivalent so if you have ln half plus 1 what is ln half plus 1? so ln 0 0.5 plus 1 is going to give us 0 decimal 3.0685 so you get it as 0 decimal 3.0685 in the question we were told to prove that it is equal to 1 minus ln 2 but what is 1 minus ln 2 so 1 minus ln 2 wow this is 0 0.30685 so this is again 0 0.30685 we can clearly say that this is the same as ln uh, sorry 1 minus ln 2 because they're both the same here we are shown Okay, so 10 marks for this question, not bad.